Well, you join me on a lovely evening. It feels a bit like spring uh, this evening with the sun out, nice blue skies. Um, I thought I'd creep under the predator net and uh, try and catch one of these C2s to see how they're doing. I've been watching them all year and they look immaculate from what I've seen. So uh, I'd just like to see them up close, see if the natural pulse doing its job and keeping the parasites off. Because you tend to get one or two in this pond because I, I tend to stock this one a little bit higher than my other ponds with smaller fish. So uh, Argulus tend to try and, uh, you, you tend to see one or two on in the winter. So I thought I'd see if the, being the first winter with natural pal, it, it, uh, I'd have a look to see how, how the, uh, how it's doing and if it's repelling those parasites naturally like it should. So uh, yeah, I'm down under the, the predator net with a little short rod and just uh, seeing if I can get a bite quickly. Um, and while I'm here, I thought I'd do a little bit about spring feeding. Obviously this is the time of year uh, where fish are very vulnerable. Um, going into the spring, the parasites and bacteria respond to the rise in water temperature quicker than the fish do. So we want to get the fish well fueled to uh, respond to any potential health threats or any bacterial infection they might get. Bacteria are more active in warm water temperatures obviously. The ideal scenario for bacteria is oxygen, the temperature. Um, so yeah, as the temperature begins to rise, so do the activity of the bacteria. So um, well that's great for the substrate in converting all the organic matter into uh, nitrates that can be absorbed by algal blooms and weed in the spring. Um, it's also uh, a potential threat for any open wounds that fish might have obviously if a rise in bacteria you could get bacterial infection if the fish if their immune system is suppressed then uh, bacterial infection could take hold and overwhelm the fish in the spring so that's, that's the reason why really we feed the fish all the way through the through the winter and uh, start to pick things up in the spring so the fish have a good fueled immune system ready to respond to any threats like that um, and obviously keeping them active keeping keeps the parasites off them and, and uh, limits the stress that they cause and as well along with the naturopel we're going to help limit those parasites quite considerably. Getting a head start on the spring before the water temperatures really rise. I mean, we've had uh, sort of nearly mid double temperatures today, up to sort of 13 degrees. So, um, yeah, the, the temperatures today has shown uh, we've seen quite a significant increase in the activity of the fish. They're starting to feed more and they're fizzing up all over the place, starting to show a little bit. As it, by all means, we could have a, a freeze through February or March. Anything can happen in the next, over the next couple of months. Um, so really it's just keeping your fish active while they're showing a good response to the food now I want to keep that response um, fueled by keep the, keeping the feed up so when it does get cold again which it more than, more than likely will in February or March um, we want to make the fish or the fish are, um, uh, are used to feeding so they're feeding through that cold period so that when it does start to warm up eventually in the spring and they're going to respond to any rise in bacteria in the lake and uh, any threats that they might might have on and uh, causing an infection. Here is a lovely little reason why we carry on feeding through the winter. Got the condition on that one, not a single argulus on it. We're really, really pleased with how the Natch Pal's been working. Absolutely immaculate. Scale perfect. They've been keeping real active. Like I say, as soon as I touch that gate and it rattles, the fish are fizzing up and ready for their food. So I think how easily this one came is uh, a good indication of how you can keep your fish feeding through the winter if you get if you do give them the chance and give them a bit of food they will carry on and more importantly into the spring they'll be fueled ready for any potential bacterial threats or any parasites that are emerging and starting to hatch in the spring you can be one step ahead just by giving them a little bit of food and a little bit of energy I see the other side this is a c2 so uh, there's another hang on he's a this is a C2, this is another 300 where these, this one came from. And uh, he's a good three pound this one. So uh, they're about, this is about the average size for them in here. So um, be excited to see them at harvest in a few weeks time. Um, when I'm sure there'll be a few four pound shooters and maybe even bigger than that. So uh, absolutely immaculate. I'm gonna slip him back now. And more than likely he'll be feeding again tomorrow because it's the first time he's ever been caught and he's been fed every day. So there's no reason not to feed. Good stuff. 